Hello everybody, Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to Five Nights at Mario's 2020, where this is the updated version of the original Five Nights at Mario's game, which I played a few years ago, and this was actually a good game, and this is kind of like, this is kind of an updated game, kind of like with um, the Five Nights at Mario's series, that whole series got updated, and now Five Nights at Mario's, the first game, just got an update. So, and this game is made by Thomas Mario Fan 48 and... Uh, I've played this game before and it was a good game, so without further ado, we will start a new game. Help one of Super Mario Fast Plumbers Pizza is looking for a night guard to work the night shift from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible, or Faz Plumber Entertainment, sorry, is not responsible for death, injuries, and or disappearance or disembarkment, blah, blah, blah. Payment $120 a week. Call 1-800-FAST-PLUMBER to apply. <laughs> okay, then. On to night one, I guess. And we'll see what this has to offer for us. Because I've played this game before. The original version was good. I've also played the original Final of Warriors games, and they're pretty good, too. Alright, it's going to take a while to load, but that's okay. Alright, on to night one. <laughs> I honked Mario's nose. Let me see if I can touch this mushroom. And I honked the mushroom, too. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi. Have you picked up the phone yet? Yes, I have. Oh, yeah, you did. Hello, New Night Guard. Uh, welcome to your new job at Super Mario. Let me check the cameras out. I will be helping you out through your first week of in-building training as a Night Guard. Alright, now let me get into the meat of what I got to explain to you this first night. You see, you have a laptop that you're able to open up that shows you a screen with a mini-map of the building and buttons on most of the rooms. Clicking on these buttons will take you to a live camera feed from a camera in that part of the building that the button you click was on. Now that you understand how to use the camera, you'll need to know how to deal with our animatronics. You see, these animatronics usually activate at night so their joints don't stiffen in the day while performing. However, if they walk into your office and they see you, they might think you're an endo skeleton because of how still you'll be in the office. If they see you and think you're a fair endo, they'll try walking into your office and take you back to where they'll try to forcefully stuff you into a suit. Oh gosh. Which might lead you to breaking your bones and other things due to the force they stuff you into it. To avoid them from doing that, just shut the door on the animatronic or animatronics that wander in, and they'll probably make some sort of noise of them moving and getting the just left. Now this rule doesn't apply to, well, all of the animatronics, but you don't need to worry about that right now. I'll tell you more about the others tomorrow. I'm pretty sure that's all you need to know. So now, I wish you good luck on your first night on the job. Okay. Okay, I see Mario, Tails, and Cream. Okay, so we have... We have more characters in this game, kind of like with Final Fantasy Mario's, the original Final Fantasy Mario's. The original Final Fantasy Mario's had, um, Mario, uh, who just moved? Let me see. Do we need to check on the curtain or anything? Because I'm going to keep my camera on that. Someone just moved. Okay, so that's the light switch sound. Okay. <laughs> Someone's moving. In the original Final of Mario's game, we had to deal with Mario, um, Penny, Gumball, um, who else do we have to deal with? Sonic, um, Metal Mario, Gold Mario, and Pinkle Peach. But in this game, we have more characters to deal with. Cause it's kind of it's a crossover game, kind of like the original. And then in Final of Mario's 2, there were old and new versions of Mario, Penny, and Gumball. And then there's also Sonic, and I think Sonic, there was Marionette, Amy, and then Spongebob. Okay, I'm listening for footsteps right now.
Oh, they're moving. I can hear the kitchen sound. That sounds familiar to me because it's from Final Fantasy Freddy's 1. And then I'm guessing we don't have to deal with Mario this night, I don't know, because Mario's still on the stage. Oh, they're moving. Okay. It's only night one, but it feels like they're moving like crazy. That's what it feels like. Oh, there's tails. Gotta close the door. Huh? Tails just left? Oh, there's train. Okay, I figured out what that noise means. When they tap on the door, it means they left. Okay. So they're not going to be at the door that long. Okay. That makes sense. And they're both active this night. I don't know if Mario's going to be active or anyone else is going to be active, but who knows. Who knows who's going to be active this night or not. I like how the door light is just like a light switch from a flashlight. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Yeah, and I see we have a fan in those three TVs on the desk. That's almost always in these type of games. The Office is cartoonish. This is one of the few games I've played where The Office is cartoonish. Oh, there's Tails. Close the door. Okay, Tails left. That was quick. Okay, cream left, so we only have to close the door for like a second, and then they leave. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Because in most FNAF games, they just stay there for a while, and then leave. Alright, we've beaten night one. Sweet! Ooh, I love that music! I love that music it just played. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, we will take on night two in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit that like button. Also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos for my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.